he's out there right now. I'm gonna go to work. Thirty five years of Michael Keaton Batman. June 23, 1989. That's when Batmania officially exploded in the United States with the release of Tim Burton's Batman in theaters of that year, that summer. Yes, that was the time when the world was introduced to Michael Keaton's I'm Batman. And you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. That's when... The naysayers were disproven that a comedian, a well-known comedian like Michael Keaton, couldn't act as Batman. He did. He knocked it out of the park. After Beetlejuice, after everything that he did, gung-ho, night shift, he was Bruce Wayne and Batman. And, of course, who got top billing for this movie? Jack Nicholson as the Joker. Jack Napier in this universe. And it's my Batman I am an 80s kid. I grew up with this. And of course, it informed me and influenced me to become a big time Bat fan and a Batman cosplayer. So I've never cosplayed the Michael Keaton version. I've only done Christian Bale and Ben Affleck. And of course, my tried and true comic book Batman, because I love DC Comics. But the summer of 1989 was filled with some awesome movies and topping them all was the bat. Michael Uslan, everybody who brought this to life, it was phenomenal. Greatly inspired by Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns, it brought Batman back to his dark roots and proved that superhero films was a genre that would work alongside Christopher Reeve, of course, and Superman the movie a decade before. But still, yeah, there's my cowl, my Michael Keaton Batman cowl. And my Blu-ray of Batman. And I have the digital version in my iTunes store. And today, I just picked up Jada Toys. Small, yet pretty simple Batmobile and Batman. With Michael Keaton Batman. And the iconic Batmobile from this movie. Which is still my Batmobile. If I had to choose one of the on-screen Batmobiles. Second only is the Tumblr. And later on... I guess Ben Affleck's BVS Batmobile. But there's just so many roadsters, so many cars that came after this. But you still can't top Michael Keaton's Batmobile. In fact, that's why it also appeared. And he returned as Batman last year for the Flash movie to work alongside Ezra Miller's Scarlet Speedster. But we got two Batman in that movie. Uh, ben Affleck also returned as Batman. Michael Keaton, of course. And spoiler, but... He appeared in the end credits and it's been a year. George Clooney as Bruce Wayne. Anyway, if it wasn't for Batman 89, we wouldn't be getting any of this fixation on the bat. And on 85 years of Batman this year, I'm glad to be celebrating 35 years of Batman 89. 1989. It proved the Cape Crusader can be taken seriously even after the Adam West days. So, long live the bat. Tell all your friends about him. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. I'm Batman. There we go. Happy 35 years, Batman.